Alrighty, you know it, I know it, we all know it. The feeling of having a collection goal for a very long time and never working on it, never completing it. Well, part of this binder is an example of that. So let me show you. So in here, we have a whole bunch of, well, at least the first half or the first part of this binder. It's a whole bunch of old school Japanese hollows. Uh, we got base set, then we got jungle, Oop. fossil, rocket, and then I have a few less for like the gym, and then like going into the Neo, so I also don't have that many. Um, three more here, over here, some 151 as well, but these are all cards I've had, a lot of these since 2015, 2016, some since 2021, but they've been here for a long time. Um, a lot of the duplicates I had, I removed, and I've always wanted to kind of complete the hollow sets, you know, just have one of each hollow. I have some of these, like for example, I have a Charizard graded, and I have one with PSA right now, <laughs> but I don't have one in my binder anymore, base set Charizard, you know, base set I'm missing the Hitmonchan. And so, I've always kind of wanted to have one of each hollow in the binder, and you know, binder, copy, condition, nothing crazy. And I figured, let's work on this, let's try and complete this, early WotC sets, all the way up, up until E-Series, because I'm not going to do E-Reader, they get really stupid expensive in Japanese. <laughs> Uh, but let's try and do this and let's try and do this together. The way I want to do this is to actually go to card stores in Tokyo and uh, Find cards in person myself bring the camera along and show you some card stores This way you can join the journey. You can get an idea of what card stores look like inside In Japan you can see some of the prices and the conditions Hopefully not all card stores allow you to film, but I'll try my best and I'll explain this binder in more detail in the future, like for example, where these packs come from. Anyways, today we are going to Shinjuku. There's a few card stores in Shinjuku and I'm gonna bring along some Dual Masters cards that I pulled a long time ago. Uh, it's quite a few. <laughs> um, some of these are quite playable, so there's some value here. Uh, hopefully I can try and sell these and then with the money that I get from selling these, we can buy some hollows. Um, but I'll tell you right now, you know, the more expensive the card, the more picky I will be. Yeah, I'll just pick up the two, a couple cards here and there, and uh, we'll slowly fill up this binder over time, and I will only get them in card stores. I will not buy them online, and you can uh, join me on the journey. All right, let's head out. Let's go to Shinjuku. All right, here we are at Shinjuku Station. I hope you can hear me. It's a bit noisy here, the busiest train station in the world. Uh, Shinjuku isn't really known for card stores, but there are still a couple here worth checking out. There uh, are a couple over there. Um, and then a few more in the opposite direction, all the way back there. And so, yeah, uh, the first one we're gonna go to is on this side. It's gonna be uh, Book Off. Okay, here's Book Off. You might be able to see the signs there. It's multiple floors. Now, Book Off isn't a card store per se. They ju they're just a, like a second-hand store. So they have all sorts of different things for sale and trading cards are one of the items they sell. Um, last time I was here, they didn't have too much vintage, but I primarily came here to sell my Dual Masters cards. We'll see how that goes, but you know, might as well check out to see if they have some of the cards we're looking for. Let's head inside. Well, right now, I'm only seeing modern. I get some some more high value, some more high value stuff right here. A lot of master balls. But yeah, I don't think there's any vintage here, at least not today. Some more fuller trainers. A lot of the V Star Universe SARs here. Priced really well, I think. Fairly well. Sorry for the reflection, by the way, but just, it is what it is. You can see a lot of 20% like discount stickers. Usually that's if a card has some sort of flaw or a little damage, but I'm seeing a lot more than usual. So maybe that's just kind of like a general thing right now, potentially. All right, we didn't find any cards, but we sold our Dual Masters cards for 6,340 yen. It's pretty good, more than I expected. A couple of the cards, them are cool, trying to be like 1,000 yen a piece, so it's pretty nice. But yeah, let's continue. All right, we're now walking 
past Shinjuku Station again to my left here. And we are going to the other side of Shinjuku, the east side, to our next stop. We will do uh, one quick stop at the big Kamada department store. Not because I want to buy anything, just because I want to see what kind of packs they have in stock nowadays. I go to the sixth floor. All the all the one piece is sold out. Pokemon they have available. You can also see here for Shiny Treasure EX, they have a six box limit per person, so you can buy six boxes at a time. I think they still removed the shrink wrap, probably. But I mean, that's it's great. Stuff is available. All right, we're coming up to our next stop. This is Shinjuku Marui Annex building. And in here are two places you can check out. Surugaya, another secondhand store. And then Mint, a card shop that mostly does sports, but they also do Pokemon. And I know that Surugaya has plenty of hollows we can check out. So I'm a little bit early, but let's wait in line until they open. All right, coming up on the fifth floor here. This is Surugaya. You can see the cards there in the back. The old cards are going to be a bit to the left over there in the corner. Here we can see they have a lot. I'm sure we'll find something. Now the thing about Surugaya is here, um, they're almost always yellow stickers, which means they are damaged. They very rarely have white sticker cards. But even the yellow sticker cards can be like in good enough condition for a binder. You just have to inspect them. Uh, today I'm mainly looking for base jungle fossil rocket. A few of the cards are still neat. Let's see if we can find some. There you go. I definitely need the Wigglytuff still. We can check that out later. I think I will need a Dark Vileplume. I was hoping for a Hitmonchan, but I don't see one. Oh, speak of the devil, there's one. Got a lot of stickers on it. That's usually also a pretty good sign. It means they've been continuously discounting it. That means that it could be in like decent enough condition. So and our budget is around 6,000 yen. So that's about how much we get from the Duel Masters cards as a Gengar. I'll check that out. If you're curious, they also have no rarity here. Of course, very expensive. They also have some e-reader cards. Seemingly less and less each time, but again here, uh, the prices are, yeah, they're okay. A little expensive for yellow sticker cards, I think. Like for example here, this, this uh, Tyranitar EX I picked up for 600 yen more plus the other two cards to come together in near mint condition online, so. Now before I buy anything in Surigaya, I'm gonna go up two floors to check out Mint, just in case they have something. Uh, might as well have a look first. All right, over here is Mint. I'm zooming in a little bit, I don't know if I can film in there. Um, mint is good. I mean, it's in the name. They often have very clean cards, raw cards. They also have a lot of greater cards. They have a lot of expensive stuff. And their raw cards tend to be pretty expensive, like, PSA 9 prices for PSA 9 worthy cards. But we'll have a look, might as well check it out. Back in Surugaya, they also have some sealed, um, but everything is a little, a little overpriced, just a little bit. And they always have a pretty good selection from like all eras, and they have them sorted by like type. But it's very easy to look for certain Pokemon. Yeah, pretty neat. See, it also says like the yellow sticker is that there's damage and this like one display in the middle has like special prices like price down and so like these are reduced prices but these are always like pretty damn played like this Pikachu 670 and normally would be a lot more expensive but it has like whatever that is a rare white sticker vintage card in a top loader all right there's a lot of cards I need here and so I'll just 
take my time and I'll report back. And condition wasn't great, but I did pick up a couple cards. I'll show those later, but just before I head home, saw some cool old games. All a little bit overpriced in here, but still pretty neat to see. Um, this place tends to be a little bit on the pricey side because Shinjuku is a very touristy area, so you always have to be careful. Alrighty, we are back home. We got our cards that we picked up. Let's have a look which ones we bought. Alright, picked up two cards. And uh, so the first one we bought was the Pidgeot for 790 yen. And the second one we bought was uh, the Mr. Mime also for 790 yen. I inspected a lot of cards, a bunch of them, and I only picked two because the condition just wasn't good enough for the price on all the other ones that I looked at. But for these two, I was pretty happy. The Pidgeot has a nice swirl and they look okay. And if we have a look here, looks like a pretty clean card. It's obviously got a little bit of whitening and it's not perfect it's got a few scratches but overall for the binder i think this is a great copy could have probably found it cheaper somewhere else but uh i'm happy with this price and then you know for the mr mime it's kind of kind of the same story here a little bit of whitening like lightly played condition but perfect card for the binder i'll give these a nice fresh sleeve And let's add them to the binder. And they go right here. All right, we made quite a bit of a dent into our jungle hollows. The only one left is now the Wigglytuff. And we have a good amount of budget left. Again, 6,340 yen is what we got for our Dual Masters cards. Uh, I learned quite a lot about the uh, selling Dual Masters cards. I might talk about that in the future because there's some, some interesting stuff on here. But I'm very happy with what we got. And we have quite a bit left in the budget. And we added two really nice looking hollows into our binder. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the journey and I will continue to do these in the future. And I already know a few card shops that I want to go to that have much, much cleaner cards. They're also more expensive. Um, I was surprised how little base set they had, um, although I only need you know a couple cards. But um, I know a few good places to check out and I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing those as well. With those, I have to just be really careful with the prices. But uh, yeah, fun video. I had a good time out going around in Shinjuku. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button, subscribe to not miss the next time we go out and find cards in Japanese card stores. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Take care and bye bye.